My name is Ian Barlow. I'm Operations Manager and I'm responsible for managing the grounds and buildings uh, of St. Cyrus School, uh, Uskell Derry and our residential centre at T Derry. Hello, my name is Matthew Thomas. Uh, I'm with HLM Architects and I'm one of the architects involved in the design of the school. Um, one of the first challenges that struck us with the site was over its length, it's actually a story, a story change. So we were very, worked very hard to ensure that the entrances for both schools was on the same level and then ensure that the building across the level is, is on equal levels and is only one change of level point rather than many steps and ramps. So we worked hard to grade that. Uh, we also had to work hard to ensure that the car park and all the paths around were accessible. Well, we have a number of features here. Uh, generally, uh, the floors are flat. Uh, where there are stairs, and clearly there have to be stairs in a building which has uh, several storeys, uh, there are lifts. Uh, the lifts are accessible both to staff and to pupils and some of the pupils are able to use the lifts without supervision. Uh, the, there was a, quite a large range from physical uh, and learning disabilities and they did have a, quite a large impact. One of the main problems we had to overcome was understanding how the school ran, uh, how its day worked effectively. So for instance in the morning many of the children of the SEN school uh, came in their own vehicles so we had to have accessible drop-off points and lots of places for vehicles stacked and waiting. Then understanding that when they came into the school, they would often change from their sort of home wheelchair to a school wheelchair. Obviously, as a design team, we've, we were striving to ensure that every area was accessible. Um, there are certain areas which may be more difficult to access, but then it, it depends on the kind of physical ability linked to the purpose of that area of the site. Um, in terms of, uh, of minimum uh, design features, quite clearly the law requires uh, designers and those operating buildings to have a certain standard. Uh, that minimum standard clearly in terms of an educational context is often not enough and I think the fact that we've gone beyond the minimum and significantly beyond the minimum uh, in the case of this site hugely enables us in terms of providing an educational service. Well quite clearly uh, minimum levels have, have improved significantly over recent years and certainly since the, since the 1970s. However, the minimum levels are exactly what they are, minimum levels, and in terms of providing an educational service and developing uh, education for our, our children, particularly some of those at Uskola Derry, going beyond the minimum allows us to do far more things than a simple minimum standard would allow. As part of the design process, we spend time with the school, with the pupils, with the teachers, understanding the true requirements of the, of the pupils. Um, it's not simply about codes and, and design regulations, it's about understanding how can you enrich their life, how can you improve them, what does it actually mean on a day-to-day -to, -day to have to uh, be able to operate around a building and what are the simple facts of life for these children. We moved in in November 2014 and we have worked from the off in terms of uh, mutual working between the two schools uh, an understanding in terms of the pupils at St. Cyrus of the particular needs uh, of the pupils at Ascola Derry. Mm -hmm.